colloids and their characteristics. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! Nowadays, we have created a lot of mixtures. From food, medicine, and even industrial materials, a variety of products are made up of different mixtures. There are three different types of mixtures. Solutions, colloids, and suspension. In this lesson we will learn about colloids. Before we proceed to colloids let us first describe solution and suspension. A solution is always transparent, Light passes through with no scattering from solute particles which are molecule in size are not visible. A solution is homogeneous and does not settle out. A solution cannot be filtered but can be separated using the process of distillation. While a suspension is cloudy and heterogeneous. The particles are larger which allows them to be filtered. Suspension shows the Tyndall effect because of their large size of particles. Particles of suspension are large enough to scatter rays of light and the path of the ray is visible through a suspension. If a suspension is left undisturbed the particles will separate out. On the other hand, a colloid is intermediate between a solution and a suspension. While a suspension will separate out, a colloid will not. Colloids can be distinguished from solutions using the Tyndall effect. When light is shined through a true solution the light passes cleanly through the solution. However when light is passed through a colloidal solution, the substance in the dispersed phases scatters the light in all directions, making it readily seen. Another example is shining a flashlight into a smoke or fog. The beam of light can be easily seen because fog is a colloid. To be classified as colloid, the substance in dispersed phase must be larger than the size of a molecule but smaller than what can be seen with the naked eye. A colloid has two components. The dispersed phase is the substance being distributed throughout the mixture. The dispersal medium is the substance throughout which the dispersed phase is distributed. In a milk solution, milk represents the dispersed phase while water represents the dispersion medium. Different types of colloids can be formed from the combination of various phases of matter. The types of colloids are sol, emulsion, foam, and aerosol. Sol is a colloidal suspension with solid particles in a liquid. Emulsion formed between two liquids. Foam is formed when many gas particles are trapped in a liquid. Aerosol contains small particles of liquid or solid dispersed in a gas. The table shows examples of colloids with liquid dispersal media. The table shows examples of colloids with solid dispersal media. The table shows examples of colloids with gas dispersal media. Complete the given statement. I learned that the blank is a type of mixture in which solid or liquid particles are dispersed uniformly throughout a gas, liquid or solid. It is classified into four types, blank, blank, blank and blank.
blank is a colloidal suspension with solid particles in a liquid. Blank is formed between two liquids. Blank is formed when many gas particles are trapped in a liquid or solid. Blank contains small particles of liquid or solid dispersed in a gas. The two components of colloid are blank and blank. In a milk solution, blank represents the dispersed phase while blank represents the dispersion medium. True or false? An easy way of determining whether a mixture is colloidal or not is through the use of the Tyndall effect. The Tyndall effect is the effect of light scattering in colloidal dispersion, while showing no light in a true solution. Whipped cream is a colloid. The particles in the dispersed phase cannot take place in different phases depending on how much water is available. Sol is formed when many gas particles are trapped in a liquid or solid. A colloid is one of the primary types of mixture. Write C if it is a colloid and NC if it is not. Gelatin. Mayonnaise. Soft drinks. Vinegar Smog Identify the different phases of matter, solid, liquid, or gas, combined in the following mixture. Mud Mayonnaise Whipped cream Gelatin Foam
smoke. Insecticide spray. Which of the following is a colloid? Margarine, cough syrup. Mayonnaise, vinegar. Toothpaste, soy sauce and vinegar. Smoke, soft drinks. Fog, saline solution. Paint, milk. Which of the following is an example of a colloid? A. Mayonnaise. B. Cooking oil. What phenomenon occur when dispersed colloid particles scatter light? A. Tyndall effect. B. Shaft effect. What example of colloid has dispersed solid particles in gas? A. Milk. B. Smoke. What is the most abundant particle in a colloid? A. Dispersing mediums. B. Dispersing phases. Why is milk categorized as emulsion? A. Because settling cannot separate the components of homogenized milk. B. Because settling can separate the components of homogenized milk. Soda pop, whipped cream, and beaten egg whites are examples of what type of colloids? A. Foam. B. Emulsion. How would you differentiate a colloid mixture from a solution? A. The colloid's particles are larger. B. The colloid's particles are smaller. A colloid is a stable combination of particles of one substance that are dissolved or suspended in a second substance. A. True. B. False. Oi! <laughs>